I'm delighted to introduce Congressman Gus Bilirakis from Florida. He is a member of the Energy and Commerce Committee, and importantly for us, he's the author of the Open Act. Congressman Billy Ruckus. Thank you so very much. A real hard act to follow. Uh, the Senator does a wonderful job uh, for us in the United States Senate, as uh, Senator Hatch does, and, and all the members have spoken today uh, on behalf of the rare diseases. In, uh, I, uh, my, my father used to work with uh, Senator Hatch a lot on these issues, uh, and I'm proud to, uh, to follow his lead uh, and, and co-sponsor, uh, along with, uh, with uh, Representative Butterfield, the, the Open Act. And we are going to make a difference, and, uh, and I appreciate you coming up here because it's so very important. Uh, like Senator Globachar said, it, it might only take one person to change a person's mind and we can change and, and save so very many lives. So thank you so much for making the effort. You really do make a difference in Washington, D.C. So let's keep up the good work. Uh, again, thank you for giving me the privilege to speak with you this afternoon. It is an honor to join you all to raise awareness and combat rare diseases. One of my top priorities in, uh, in the United States Congress. This week has been wonderful. It really has. I've had the opportunity to meet with you, so many, so many of you, uh, at the breakfast uh, yesterday, and you came into my office. Doesn't matter where you where you live, uh, which district you represent. Uh, we want to hear your stories. So again, uh, hear the stories of uh, of the patients, uh, the advocates, uh, organizations working to raise awareness for rare diseases. This issue is so important to me and I commend you again for your hard work. We must continue to encourage more research and innovation to find cures and treatments for rare diseases. I'll continue to champion this important issue with my colleagues in the House and the Senate. And we really need the, the Senate desperately, and, and I thank the senators here. Uh, we can change a, a few minds and get this out of the Senate as soon as possible in the 21st Century Cures Bill. Uh, and get in conference on the president's desk before the end of the year. That's our goal, and we can do it. We understand there are 10,000 known diseases, 7,000 of which are rare. Over 95% of these rare diseases have no treatments. I'm dedicated to changing this statistic. While only a small number of patients are affected by each disease, rare diseases as a whole affect 30 million Americans, as you know. Clearly, rare diseases are not a rare problem. I'm proud to have played a big role in the House, in the House's efforts to combat rare diseases. Much, much more to be done. As you all know, the Energy and Commerce Committee's 21st Century Cures Act, which passed the House last year, it's by 344, we had 344 votes a large bipartisan effort. That's how you get things done in Washington, D.C. Uh, getting in a room uh, and, and forgetting about the parties and do what's right for the American people. And that's what we did with the 21st Century Cures under the leadership of uh, Chairman Fred Upton. Patients and their families know all too well accessing potential cures and treatments for rare diseases can be very difficult. H.R. 971, the Open Act, will help patients gain access to these potential cures. This bill will incentivize drug makers and innovators to repurpose major market drugs for life-threatening rare diseases and opens the door to the development of hundreds of new approved drugs and treatments for individuals with rare diseases as well as a new surge in biotechnology jobs and investments. And see, we can do this within a matter of months, and uh, people don't have to wait for years. Uh, so it makes so much sense. The Open Act can help millions of people by ensuring medications are safe and effective for rare conditions and can be reimbursed through insurance. That's so very important. It's going to cost less. And I know people are taking drugs off label. Uh, Candace, I don't know if Candace is here, but she tells me her story uh, where she did her own research 
and, and found a drug that worked for her. Uh, and it took a few months, and, and, uh, but that shouldn't have to happen. We need to get these drugs repurposed so that we can save lives. And after hearing from so many of you, like Candace and others in this fight, I'm proud to help sponsor and advance this important bill. But the real champions in this battle are you and the entire rare disease community. Keep up the great work. I encourage our Senate colleagues to swiftly advance the open act and get this done for our patients. Thank you for having me here today. Uh, and again, I will continue to fight on your behalf in Washington, D.C. Thank you and God bless you for what you did.